Hello and welcome my friends back with more T1 content. Uh, yeah, we, we suffered a bit. T1 uh, not feeling all too well. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely not the burnout uh, from this massive schedule that they uh, have to suffer through. But uh, yeah, regardless, the last week was rough, right? And uh, yeah, I wish, I mean, we could have talked about it, but uh, yeah, exams are coming up. And uh, yeah, I, I'm already being an illegal lazy motherfucker recording this video instead of studying. But I mean, it's the Telecom War T1 uh, KT. Uh, I mean, come on, it's five five both teams kind of struggling, right? Um, we're in a good position and all of that. But uh, oh wait, owner here, Priyoshik, will fall down any moment now. Let's go actually get some audio in. And uh, yeah, Zeus. Um, um, I mean, run. Gets the stun, but the turret is annoying. Ay ay ay. Ah, close, but no cigar. Regardless, one for one, we get the uh, first part as well. Regardless, both teams 5-5, five, five, right? And it's like sure with uh, Gen G winning world, uh, winning worlds, no, winning MSI, uh, like good for us, right? With uh, worlds qualification, but uh, we still need to make playoffs. We still need to get like to these top positions. So far, it's okay, but uh, yeah, if we struggle some more. Oh! That was so close. I, did he queue a minion or did he queue deft um, Gumayushi, right? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah, and there is owner. Let's go! Man, this fortune does so much damage right now. It's crazy. BDD, what are you doing? What? Ah. Uh, didn't get the right Q angle, but uh, yeah, very nice. There's, I mean, carry out really well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just uh, nasty. Posius, overall, like, if I uh, have that right in my mind, like the T1 top side, actually the entirety of T1's like kind of struggling, but I mean, at least in this game so far, owner and the bot side, right, doing fairly well. Uh, Faker getting a bit out rotated, but this is to be expected in this matchup. Yeah, Guma here is all but dead. There's nothing he can do. Can't even get the cannon minion. I, uh... But, uh, yeah. Let's see. There's the Rakan. Uh... Okay. I mean, good for Faker, but still lost his ult. Okay, flash used as well, but let's be on the safer side, right? Uh, oh, bro, Zeus needs uh, some help here. And, oh, actually, set up another dive. Perfect. Okay, okay. Yeah, doesn't get the stun, I think. Just the pushback. But uh, regardless, or maybe the Merc Trit's already doing some work. Whatever. Doing some damage here, and nope. Ah, cleared. Owner has a bounty, right? Oh, safe pr president owner. Okay, uh, we, t we take that. I think overall some of spell trade for us that we uh, we like. We have two dragons here and the soul is also not too great. Uh, okay. We just run it down and yeah, our, uh, our other friends are also not uh, trolling or anything. We might lose the mid lane turret here, but actually there's a TP coming in from... Oh, never mind. It was a TP all the way to the inner turret. Thought uh, Zeus was going for a flank or something. Baker here in trouble. Will he get the ult through? Uh, not the best interaction, but uh, it worked out well enough, right? And that should be an ace here. No, actually, Crocodile respawned. So, uh, not real ace, but we take four. Don't lose a single member. Ay, ay, ay. This is the T1 that won both world championships in the last year or so. Yeah, looking good so far, looking good so far. Here maybe like a faker ulted uh, the enemies into the misfortune ult would have been a bit uh, sexier, but it doesn't really matter. We're already like so far ahead in this game. Um, again, the soul sadly doesn't do too much here. Okay, Ona goes in, oh my god. Bullet time, man. He's balling all over them. Faker scoops up the trash. Owner gets another charge. Man, owner's poppy is just so fucking good, man. Ah, oh, man. Very nice. Okay. T1. One game up against KT. We take that. We take that. This is the start of our revenge arc. 
where we come back and uh, show the LCK like who's boss. Zeus always doing so much damage, but you have to understand, right? Range versus melee matchup. He game number two. Uh, oh, decent for for owner. Not really sure if that's the best idea here. Uh, the matchup is okay against uh, what's his name, Ivern. Obviously, if you get ahead, you can just farm that guy. But otherwise, his utility is just uh, like easier to utilize, right, for his team. Top lane matchup is also fine. But overall, with double AD, perfect can uh, itemize really nicely into armor. The big issue is obviously, I don't know if this, like how this bot lane goes. Like Seraphine AD carry or bot lane, it's not something I've seen in a while. And you can say something similar for uh, what's this called? <laughs> the carrier pick here. The mid lane matchup, uh, I don't know, honestly as well, right? Uh, seven years ago or so? Was it seven years ago? Was it 17 or 18? Something like that. I think 17. Uh, oh, man. That's just unfortunate. Baker skew doesn't hit shit and now they're all getting killed. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about game number three. Uh, nah, yeah, but the mid lane matchup, that's what I was trying to get at, like, Lucian favored back then, Faker, like, was schooling on kids with this Lucian matchup, uh, famously, obviously, like, back then versus Crown, right, Chovy was not born yet, so that was the matchup there. Yeah, uh, okay, this is at least somewhat okay, but I don't know, man, this oil doesn't, like, taste so great. Yeah, yeah, you, you, that, that's just how this matchup goes. BDD, yeah, BDD was born back then, right? He was uh, already playing in the LCK. So he probably already uh, is relatively experienced in this matchup. It's very Lucian favored. Um, but uh, yeah, and that top lane matchup also works just how we expected it to go. Uh, so yeah, so bot lane is scaling versus scaling. Mid lane is losing, top jungle 2v2 is losing. Not hard losing, right? Because, uh, yeah, well, whatever. Let's just not. Let's, uh, let's stop talking about draft maybe for a bit. Uh, and let's just watch here. Yeah, CC chain to death. Ripper Reno, Faker here again. Yeah. EDD just uh, yeah, doing a lot. Is there anything that we can hope for? Like honestly, we have some global shenanigans, but it's all pretty weird, right? He just goes in, kills Faker, Yoshiki gets insect. It's going to work out, but uh, that's about it. Zeus here needs to watch out and his friends. Yeah. Okay, perfect. It's also here. Guma will get away, I assume. Mm. Yeah, what a gets away, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, get cleansed, no. And uh, yeah, here we see what uh, happens to owner when he steps into the wrong direction. He's in here in this game. Ah, yeah, yeah. Regardless. Oh no, no, no. That's our owner. We need that guy. Get hammered away, but yeah, it's just sad, man. They contest top side. They take three dragons. How is it greedy they were taking dragon? Uh, I guess it's greedy since we're so far behind. Right, the gold lead only says 1000, but our champions uh, and their champions are both like strong at this state in the game. And when they are stronger than us due to like having more gold, then uh, that's that. And when their composition is also way, 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 way easier and uh, yeah, to execute, then it's just rough. Yeah, Faker, yeah. Yeah, yeah, rough. Yeah, I mean, that uh, the draft by KT is just a really good read. I don't know in which order the champions were picked. I should have paid attention to that. But uh, yeah, very, very smart picks here all overall. And uh, like, I don't know like what T1's avenue for success would have been in this game. 
right? Perfect. So it's like stacks HP and armor, and like you don't kill him. And then if Daisy comes around, you you may actually just get killed. Like bot lane is just like both lanes don't have that much agency to create place in the like earlier stages of the game, and both have high survivability. And your mid lane is just really fucked. So uh, like I don't know. Like maybe playing around owner and like trying to have owner be the carry and like dominate the the jungle or something. Actually, we're winning this fight. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? How 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 did we win that fight? We were all stacked up. Well, anyway, I mean, wait, we want to want to fight. Maybe we can do the classic T1 uh, and uh, deal with bad uh, comps and uh, just play better and win like that. Okay, oh no, that's our Guma guy, we need- oh, he just disappeared, oh. Hmm. Is that domestic abuse if Lucian kills Senna? Yeah. Now everyone goes in, because like we already know that we're dead, right, due to the teleport flank there. We at least get one back, but uh, yeah, that's Baron. I mean, at least that's game, it's going to be a quick one, so we can at least rest easy knowing that uh, we fought well, but um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's about it. But though, I mean, honestly, I'm not too mad about it. I will not look at the draft order. I will just tell myself that KT was uh, very smart and uh, did good drafting, and we'll take that. I mean, we stole the drag here, so like the soul is delayed. There's obviously always the like elder flip, and then haha, we win anyways, haha. Uh, but uh, yeah. Okay, there's a wall, dashes away, and maybe we can escape, should be able to, but that costed us uh, a few things. Regardless, let's see, okay, Baron is being started, so uh, let's see, let's see, that's a flip, K-Ray goes in, b is annoying, Shock Blast doesn't hand, Ono goes in and gets this... Let's go! Run away, my friends! Run on the run! Ah, uh, feel shake with the flash. Cringe. Yeah, no. Nah. So we lose three, but get the, uh, the Baron. So, uh, should be able to defend somewhat, right? Our base is open, but... Uh, let's cope and hope that uh, Guma will be there and that will make a difference. Actually, no, they, are, they have five people. Faker here gets slowed, has, gets everything through, but you even see it, like, even with three items, he doesn't kill them through the shields, right? Even... Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, very nicely played. I mean, T1, like, you saw them, they tried, but, uh... That was not a winnable game. I I don't think so. Maybe I'm coping, but I I don't think there's a winning avenue for this one. You lose every two v two. Uh, bot lane just shake hands, and we talked about all of that. Uh, but I mean, I, they made KT work for it, right? Thirty four minutes. Let's pay a bit more attention to the draft here. What the hell is that? Actually, perfect played that. Uh, if I remember correctly, last year. Okay, this this is unlosable. This is the perfect T one comp. I mean. T1 and poke comps is like this is the most disgusting thing that we can do and this has been a trend for like the last 10 years or so like T1 with poke comps is has always been an absolute monster I don't know about this uh, Zeus pick here I mean uh, okay that's okay the enemy team has Zeri so that's cringe but Zeri is not like the same anymore which is good right way more balanced uh, okay, but uh, look look at your wave. Def, do, do, don't you want minions? Well, I guess he's not getting harassed and he buys time for his friend, but I don't know, man. It's like trading like farm for Ivern with farm for Zeri. I, I think we'll take that. Uh, do we dive barrel? Nah. Uh, the gold difference not too bad yet, but yeah. Uh, 8 and 1. Uh, only nine times, right? Uh, did it go through? Which, uh, yeah, should tell you that that's uh, how it goes. Solo kill here for BDD, right? Pretty nice. Always nice to see someone like BDD perform well um, after all these years, right? Originally, uh, 
true Jin Air in, uh, enthusiast. Oh uh, man, I remember when uh, BDD came in for for Jin Air and everyone was like, "Yes, he's going to he's going to be the one to save Jin Air from from relegation and all of that." Uh, sadly, he didn't. Right? He was known as uh, as a what was it? A Z player? I think it was. A, he was a Z player back then. But this was like ages ago when he was like young and stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean they're going after Faker because obviously that's the lane that you can easily attack. Uh, Corky, I mean notoriously uh, not easy to gank, right? He has a W and so on and so on. But uh, I mean, oh, that was rough by Carrier, but should be okay. Owner here finds out why tanks are fine, base damage and so on. But uh, yeah, I mean Deft is Deft is like struggling and so on and. Uh, yeah, barrel here. Guma, oh, Guma doesn't have ult. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, turret at nine minutes. That's roughly like what you expect with Caitlyn lanes and professional play. Um, yeah, it was nine minutes, right? Yeah, I think nine minutes was the was the time. T1 here, they don't have vision, which is like pretty annoying with the Ivern, uh, with the Ivern brushes, right? Because we need, we are very reliant on vision as a poke comp, right? We need to know where the enemy is, uh, not only to throw sh shit at them, but also to know uh, when we have to like go back and forth. Okay, very nice. Getting the flash of the Jace for future endeavors. Oh, who comes through and that's a bunch of them joining, but now you have used your engage. And it was close, very close. Lost two flashes and all of that. But in the end, we end up winning. Uh, top lane matchup also looks fine so far. Obviously, in the lo long run, perfect will win. Puma here ah, gets flashed on, and that's going to be it. Shutdown, mm -mm. mini shutdown, I guess, for BDD. We'll have to see. KT here. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. There is absolutely nothing you can do as an AD carry in these situations. Zeus goes in, Faker gets hooked. Final Spark does so much damage. I mean, Faker also blew a bunch of bullets into them, but yeah. Oh, oh boy, Carrier. Oh, he has enough for a Q, but it's not enough. Uh, yeah. This is uh, really rough. Considering KT, I mean, they're engaged. Like, sure, they have Pyoshe Q, and the rest of them, their only engaged is Barrel besides that, right? It's crazy that they... Uh, are capable of generating so much uh, like plays. Very nice. Um, very well done by him. Actually insane. Obviously, uh, like, uh, remove this champion from the game, but uh, whatever. So, uh, yeah, this just speaks to. Like, either we can go the road of like barrels just so fucking good and so on, or we go the route and say, okay, yeah, T1 is playing rather sloppy that they get engaged so often, right? Usually, with such a draft, the game should never be 9 7 in terms of like scoreline. Anyway, Zeus goes in again, and uh, yeah, Cassante, probably still Cassante in the bot uh, backline here. We don't even watch. It's uh, perfect presses R and Lux dies, but yeah. 12-8. Uh, yeah. We don't talk about the gold lead, right? We just look at the 12-8 and cope that KT is still in the game. Uh, honestly, the game is ending in a couple of moments here. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. So, uh, when things... When we struggle, when the times look hard, pick Caitlyn Lux and everything will be alright. Uh, yeah. Revenge against KT, I, yeah, I'm pretty positive they beat us in the first Telecom War this summer. Um, but at least we get this uh, very big dub here. And uh, yeah, very nice to see, very nice to see. Um, Caitlyn Lux generating tons of money. Overall, a bit uh, all over the place, right? To be able to allow so many kills for the opposing squad. But even in such situations, um, we were still uh, all right. Due to uh, yeah, getting the tr tr getting the structures, getting the objectives. So uh, yeah, we see a trajectory of improvement. But overall, we know this these guys can play some really fucking good League of Legends. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully they can ride this momentum, rest well, and uh, yeah, next week do some do some work. Was that Morin right now in the crowd? Well, whatever. We see each other also hopefully in the near future. 
Uh, exa again, exams are cringe. I, I shouldn't even be here, but uh, hey, we see. Take care. Bye bye.